the great Mysore Palace. Is it true that there is a curse on this royal family? Will this light glow only for you if you ask for? Why did the Sultan demolish the palace? The king Krishna Raja Odia III took up the construction of third grand palace and completed in just three years. It is believed that the construction was not in a great form with no proper ventilation as it was built in a hurry. The palace was destroyed in a fire on 1897 during the wedding ceremony of Princess Jalakshmamani. The destiny of the Mysore Palace was then passed to Raja Mata Kempa Nanjamani Sandihana who commissioned well-known British architect Henry Irwin to build a new fourth palace. The Queen asked the palace to be rebuilt in the style of Mughals with an intention that this palace would be a tribute to legacy of Wodeyars and Mysuru. Who are Wodeyars? I am going to use Bahubali reference for easy understanding. The start of the dynasty is by two princely brothers from Dwaraka who on pilgrimage in Mysore heard the fate of the local princess, Deva Jammani. At that time, the king of Mysore had died and the chief of Karakhalli, a neighboring province, was trying to marry the princess and capture Mysore by force. Rising to the occasion, the two brothers mobilized troops killed the Karakhali chief and rescued the princess. The grateful princess married the elder of the two brothers named Yaduraya, who became the first ruler of Wadayar dynasty. After eight generations, it was Raja Wadayar, the eighth king of Wadayar dynasty, who transformed Mysore to a kingdom by defeating the king of Vijayanagara Empire and moved his capital from Mysore to Sri Rangapatnam. After Raja Odiyar, Ranadira Kanti Rava Odiyar consolidated the kingdom and fortified Sri Rangapatnam and Mysore and started minting the coins with his seals. Next came Chikadeva Raja Odiyar, a great warrior, expanded the kingdom and also introduced land reforms and streamlined the administration. Following his death, a series of inefficient rulers destroyed the kingdom by political instability. After Tipu Sultan's death, it was under the kingship of Krishna Raja Odiyar III and his son Krishna Raja Odiyar IV that the modern township of Mysore was created. After his death in 1940, Jaya Chama Raja Odiyar became the 25th and last ruler of Mysore royal family. Palace 
is built in around 72 acres with a big darbar hall with its ornate ceiling and sculpted pillars. This is the octagonal shaped Kalyana Mandap with beautiful stained glass ceiling and its glazed tiled flooring. And completely carved doors are truly awesome. It's an in house lift for King to reach Darbar Hall. The display of antique articles are truly priceless. The king is also honored by Lions Club International. You know what? The golden how the elephant seat in which Maharaja sits is about 85 kgs in weight and the jewel coated throne is displayed only during the Dasara or amongst the palace other treasures. Mysore Palace looks great during Dasra with dazzling 1 lakh light bulbs in illuminating the palace. The lights are illuminated to public from 7 to 8 pm on Sundays and public holidays. Individual or tourist groups are interested to the view illuminated palace on other days they have to pay rupees 50,000 for 30 minutes. But as Chamundeshwari is carried on a lavishly decorated elephant, a traditional procession also called as Jumbo Savari. The royal family does the Dasara festival in a grand way by praying goddess Chamundeshwari. But before this puja, there is one hidden ritual which is done. A queen statue in gold is worshipped for last 400 years during Dasara. It is a kind of dark secret. None of the descendants are direct born of the royal family for last 400 years due to a curse. This curse left them hairless ever since. Deadly curse was laid onto them by King Tirumala Raja's widow queen Alamelamma right before she jumped into the river Kaveri. The reason in the year 1612, Raja Vadiyar conquered Sri Rangapatnam from Tirumala Raja. After that, the king suffered terminal disease and died. King Tirumala Raja's widow queen Alamelamma had a large amount of precious jewelry. As a widow, she is no longer permitted to wear jewelry. Hence, she donated the jewels to temple of goddess Sri Ranganayaki. Raja Odiyar sent his army to Talakad to ask her jewellery and seized by force if refused. To escape the Mysore army, Queen Alamelamma jumped into the river Kaveri at Talakad along with the rest of the jewels. But before jumping to her death, she laid a curse on Raja Odiyar. Her curse was made Talakadu became a barren land and Malangi turned into a whirlpool and may Mysore kings never beget children. Unfortunately, this curse did actually come true. Even today, most of the Talakad is barren and Malangi witnesses whirlpool frequently. And most importantly, the Vodaya dynasty never had any children for alternate generations for last 400 years. Hearing Queen Alamelamma's death, Raja Odiyar realized his mistake and made a gold idol of Queen Alamelamma and placed in Mysore Palace and worshipped her as a deity and her I pray Goddess Ranganayaki to bless the royal family to come out of the curse at the earliest. With the Mysore Palace review and we are going home. Like the video please share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe lucky stake view channel as i will continue to post informative videos me signing off washish